So, so I think there, there's an underpinning kind of um, idea or phenomenon here, right? So I'm, I'm quite interested in um, certain forms of um, psychotherapy these days, believe it or not. And one of the reasons I'm interested in that is because I, you know, sometimes when I coach people, I begin to kind of come up against the boundaries of therapy almost. And so I needed a way to think about, you know, where does coaching end and therapy begin? Um, and in fact, this led to some interesting relationships. And I, I've done a few cases now where I've done sort of joint engagements with a therapist, with a leader, with pretty interesting results. The reason I raise this is because there's certain personalities that have, you know, what are sometimes called unrelenting standards built into them, that they just need to continue to push them for themselves forward, regardless of how unhappy it makes them. And so I think that then the reason I say this, Deepak, is that sometimes people, I don't think, feel like they have a choice, right? That they have to keep driving themselves forward, regardless of what it does to them their families or otherwise. And so to me, the answer to your question is, is rooted in part in the level of, of self-awareness and maturity and, and self-control in a deeper sense that, that a leader has. And it's only if that's there that they even have the ability to ask the question, you know, could I say no to this? Uh, never mind actually act upon it. 